Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your uh, mid to end of November 2019 reading. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon and Rising and I might be uh, viewed by a cross watcher. So welcome cross watchers. Um, we are going to keep these kind of brief. I, I don't want you guys to have to watch a super long video to get the message, but as always, I'm going to try to be as thorough as possible. Um, so when I was thinking about your energies before I got started, I got a couple really interesting hits. And the first is around um, some sort of revelation. Um, and it's around, uh, like, let's call it a casual partner, whatever that means to you. It could be somebody who is... Uh, maybe just a, you know, a physical relationship for you right now, uh, somebody uh, who's a friend right now, but this, there's, there's sort of this sense of, I need to, I need to ex express what I'm realizing about this person. So that was my, um, my initial download. So let's see what's going on for you, Sagittarius. What is the major energy around the Sagittarius Collective Spirit for November 15th through 30th, 2019? Anything else? Okay. Disruption. That's a tower moment. <laughs> this revelation might have caused a tower moment. Somebody, uh, this could be an epiphany. This could be... Um, you know, just something that takes you or your person by surprise. Let's see what else is going on. What are the messages for Sagittarius, please, Spirit, for the last half of November 2019? Sagittarius, please. What does Sagittarius need to know, Spirit? What else? What else does Sagittarius need to know? Wow. A lot of jumpers. Okay. First up, it's time. This could be a part of that revelation that, wow, I've, you know, maybe I've waited a long time. And so someone is being called to take action. Wow, there's so much here. Goodness. Okay. Um, all right, let's start here. We have unhealthy patterns, chained to circumstances, follow your dreams, illumination. This is that revelation, definitely. Receiving a message and loyalty. Wow. Um, yeah, it, it could be that some of you um, are in a situation that uh, has been hard to break away from, you or your person. Again, I'm just reading the energies. Something has come to light that the person in your life, the person you're thinking of, um, they, they feel a sense of responsibility I'm again, I'm getting responsibility toward the relationship. Maybe there somebody is realizing that, oh my gosh, you know, my this is this is maybe my person. Someone is realizing um, that there's you know real love in this situation and they want to talk about it. They want to follow their dreams. Again, you were them. Okay. Wow, this is gonna be good. So let's um I'm not going to clarify each card. I'm, I'm not going to put that much energy into each message, but I am going to pull a new spread. So let's see. I'm going to use Rider weight. Very interesting spread here. Spirit, what can you tell us, please, about what Sagittarius will experience at the end of November 15th through 30th? What other messages need to come through? For Sagittarius, please. Wow. Okay, uh, let's start here. Wow, these came out together. We have the King of Pentacles, 
and the Ten of Pentacles. This is someone who is focused on their stability and their foundation. This is someone who may be relationship-minded. This could be a husband. This could be someone who's married. This could be um, some, something about um, wanting, wanting something uh, with a stronger foundation, especially with this tower. I'm, I'm kind of picking up on somebody's looking at, at stability. Okay. Knight of Wands reversed. This could have been, um, you know, an energy around um, inappropriateness, um, unhealthy patterns. That's funny I say that and I just looked at that. Um, irresponsibility, I'm getting. Okay. And the Two of Swords, the need to make a decision. Okay. Anything else, Spirit? for Sagittarius. Okay. Temperance. This is about patience, moderation, divine timing, and these seven of wands defending yourself. Somebody maybe who is... Um, a little bit resistant. I'm going to unfold the story this way. Okay, let's get the mini Rider weight out. What can you tell us, please, Spirit, about the King of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles? What is that? Clarify the King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah. Um, someone who's been in their head for a while. There's been some waiting. Someone who's been thinking long and hard about um, what they've invested in or what they want to invest in. Okay. Bottom of the deck energy, ace of swords, truth, clarity, illumination, something coming to light. What can you tell us, please, about the Knight of Wands, Spirit? Why is that here? Okay. The star reversed. So the star upright is about healing. It's about wish fulfillment. There was, I think, uh, the need to become awakened, and somebody might have been resisting that. Bottom of the deck energy, King of Cups. Hmm. Okay, let's move on to the Seven of Wands. Why is that here for Sagittarius? Seven of Wands. Hmm. Yeah, that's tough energy. The Five of Swords. A no-win situation, win-lose situation. This is um, fairly, you know, um, like, um, like an impasse. Someone, someone who was fighting for what they want, but it, it, maybe they were fighting for something that was the wrong thing. It didn't get them anywhere. There's, there's like defeat around this. Anything else? Seven of Wands, Five of Swords. Seven of Wands, Five of Swords. Okay. Yeah. Three of Pentacles reversed, a lack of cooperation, not working together. This, is, this does feel like someone was almost like um, resisting their own gut feeling or something. Not wanting to participate. Huh. But I'm feeling like this revelation going on here. So let's... Get clarification around temperance. Why is that here for Sagittarius? Okay. Okay. This is this is after some some soul healing and some enlightenment and um, you know moderation, patience, the desire to move forward. We have the Knight of Swords, fast moving energy. Bottom of the deck, Page of Wands. 
What else, spirit? Temperance. What else can you tell us about temperance? What else can you tell us about temperance for Sagittarius? Oh, ho, ho, ho. there's a lot here. Okay, uh, a lot here. So first up, we have the Eight of Pentacles, wanting to put in the work. We have the King of Cups, water sign energy. Someone who is exhibiting emotional stability. Someone who is offering uh, love. We have the Two of Wands and Justice. This could be about ending an old situation. It could be, for some of you, perhaps about leaving an old commitment. This could be about uh, divorce. I hope nobody's going through that. But looking in a new direction. This is at a crossroads, making a decision about where to go next. Okay. Let's see here. Um, let's pull some advice. Spirit, what can you tell us? about what Sagittarius needs to focus on, think about, do for the rest of November. What do you want Sagittari Sagittarians to know about the rest of November? What is your guidance, please? For the rest of November, Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know, please? What is your advice? Wow. Okay. Meditation brings answers. There's a lot here. <laughs> no need to worry. Emotional healing. Wow. Be yourself. The situation calls for you to be your authentic self, which is the basis for your personal power. And spiritual teacher, your life purpose involves teaching others about healing and spirituality. Wow. Wow. I'm, I'm getting a really, a, just a super strong revelation about somebody moving out of a, a very unhealthy time in their life. There, there is de this disruption and illumination. This is an epiphany. There's a major epiphany going on. Someone has, someone fought this. I think that this is an internal battle. But someone wants to move forward. They want to heal. They want to make a decision about a new path. A new path, more loving path. Wow. Okay, it sounds, sounds like a lot of heart healing going on here. Okay, Sagittarius, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you have a great rest of the month. Loving you. Lo loving you. Oh, that's nice. Maybe that needed to come out. Love and light to you. Bye.